Good morning. I don't think you'd be watching this devotion if you weren't serious about God. And so I want to share some deep things with you this morning. The way we lose with God is when we put something out there that we say is off limits for God. Or we compartmentalize God or we pigeonhole God into a particular place or into a particular way of demonstrating himself to you. Now, God can speak to you through Scripture, which is the primary way he speaks to you. He speaks through the Holy Spirit. Sometimes he'll confirm something that you've been praying about with a person's words, and they won't even know it. But the Holy Spirit confirms that. But in Mark chapter 10, you remember the rich young ruler, he came to Christ and he said, Good, good teacher, what, how, how must I uh, inherit eternal life? What should I do? And Jesus said, you know the commandments. You know, you don't commit adultery, honor the father and mother. And he said, I've done all those. And the Bible, I love this. Jesus, this is incredible. He said, look, Jesus looking at him, loved him. He was a guy that was all about God. I mean, he was 98% all God. He said, I've kept these. I've done these. I'm really sincere. I want to know. And Jesus said, one thing you like. Go sell everything you've got. Join me. And what did he do? He was sad at his word. And he walked away sorrowful because he had many possessions. In other words, God, you got to a place that I'd excluded you from. You ask too much. You went to a place that's off limits. That's my security. That's everything to me. Or that's, that's a big part of my life. Don't ask me to give that up. Isn't it amazing how we cheat ourselves when God would have given so much more than he'd ever given up? He doesn't want you to lose. You don't have to lose. Don't compartmentalize God. Don't say that he's only here or he's only there. I only experience him at church or I only experience him in the early morning. Or I, But God wants to be in every thought, every word, every action, every conversation. He's there with you. He's in you. When we exclude him, we grieve the Holy Spirit. It's like, I don't need you now. Or I don't want you now. Or you can't help me now. Or these people won't understand this doesn't mean you have to be talking about God verbally all the time. But he's with you. And he's constantly there. And pretty soon it will be known who you are. But nevertheless, you never say unto God, this is off limits. Because God wants every bit of you. Because that's what he wants to bless. He wants to bless all of your life. He wants to bless your marriage. That shouldn't be off limit. He wants to bless your children. That certainly shouldn't be off limits. He wants to bless you at work. That shouldn't be off limits. He wants to bless your conversations. That shouldn't be off limits. He wants to bless your thinking. That should not be off limits. He wants to bless everything you have. Why would you exclude God from anything? When he loves you so much, he sent his son to die for you. And he says, would he not freely give you all things in Romans chapter 8? How could we ever think that holding out on God would benefit us? Turn everything over to him. You say, well, there's a certain part of my life, you know, I like to do this or I like to do that. And can I just say something to you? At the end of the day, when we stand at judgment, it won't matter what you chose over God and you exclude. You say, well, sports or society or politics or, or this or that. I left God out of those. And you know what God's going to say? Then you missed in those areas what I could have given you and what you were born to have. What you were born to be. The purpose for which I created you. All of you. You know the way out is deeper in? <laughs> you say, I'm searching for freedom. We'll go deeper in with God. Abandon everything to Him. And you're going to find your freedom in a way that you never thought you would because you gave it all to him. You totally jumped off 
and trust in him as you went down. God will be faithful as you give everything to him. God bless you. Have a great day.